Hi, Lou Caruso for Sarcastic Journal. Today, I thought we'd take a minute to talk about guides. There's all kinds of guides, there's all kinds of styles. A couple of years back, Fuji came out with these new K-frame guides, and they called them concept guides, which kind of irked me because they're not concept guides. There's a concept layout that you can put on a rod, and it's the way the guides are spaced. But that can be done with any guides you have out there. I can do a concept layout on a rod. I can use this type of guide. I can use the K-frame guides. I can even use these heavy-duty guides, which a lot of guys use on the chunk of rods. They can all be used for that kind of layout. Is it necessary? Are there pros and cons? Yes. This particular guide, which is used mostly for chunking rods, or heavy duty jetty sticks and all. Great guide. It has a very wide spread on it. If you take this guide and you look, compared to some of the older guides, you'll see it's a bigger spread. So what happens is, when you're wrapping this guide and you're trying to keep that rod as light as possible, this, you're gonna use more thread. You're gonna have a bigger space where you have threads wrapped. It's not a lot but every little bit counts. All right, so if I need something heavy duty, I'll kind of use these guides. This is the old style with the new ring. This is the, the they used to make the hard alloys. They weighed a ton, they were big, they were bulky. Fuji came out with these, next in line. They're a great guide. You can use these on any one of your spinning rods. Is it necessary? Not really, not with the new food, with the K guides they came out with. The idea with these is that if you look, these two guides are the same exact ring size. But if you put them together, you'll see this guide sits higher. And what this allows you to do is when you're building your rod, you can now put your stripper guide closer, use a smaller, lighter guide. You can move it closer to the face of your reel, and you won't get line slap, you won't get wind knots, all, uh, all the things that were associated with what I call a bad wrap sometimes. You had to use a big enough guide in the proper location, and what that would do is weigh down the rod and take away from the action of the blank. With these guides, you have a lighter guide, you can now mount them a little bit closer to the face of the reel, and it allows you to, when you mount these lower, to get more power out of your blank. You use the Fuji layout, uh, the Fuji concept layout. You can use these guides and you'll be fine. I did a video earlier that showed how I laid out a Fuji concept layout. Since I did that, I found I've done some experimentation and I found you can actually deviate on that layout some in the tip section. Fuji always said that you had to have your uh, running guides no less than four inches, no more than six inches. What I found is that on some of the lighter tipped rods, you would need to stick with that. You need to stay closer together to protect those rod tips. All right, here's one of the rods I have here. You can see the tip section is a little light Tip section's a little light, so what I did is to protect that tip section up to here, to your running guide, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six guides on here. 11 foot rod, I have six guides in there, it's a bit much, but it protects the tip of this rod. If I take another rod, for example, I take this Lama Glass, the old GSB, much more flexible rod. What I found is that I can actually disperse these running guides a little bit further and still get the same effect. So where I have nine guides on that rod, I only have seven on here. And I still get good static deflection on it, which is a good bend in the rod, being more parabolic. The line still flows excellent and I've lightened it up by, by the uh, extra guides.
The other item I, I just wanted to go over real quick is we talked about single foot guides and the durability. Back in the day, the single foot guides were tall, they bent like a pretzel, they were a nuisance. Today's single foot on these K-frames, as you can see, they're small, but they're actually durable, extremely durable. And they lighten up the rod tip, give you more control when you're casting, they keep the tip lighter, give you excellent same fighting ability. So it's a win-win a when, you, when you're using these guides.